So the demo is only going to be very short, um, but it's going to highlight some of the key features of the integration uh, and the solution that's encompassing it all. Um, and hopefully you're going to see some of the, the potential uh, you know, of, of how e-commerce and content can really be used together in this headless scenario with these two tools um, and provide some, some pretty awesome stuff. So we're going to have a look at uh, search integration uh, with commerce tools. Uh, we're going to have a look at a you know some dynamic product pages, dynamic product elements throughout the site, uh, and how they work. I'm going to look into .CMS, the integration between commerce tools and .CMS, which is a little bit more direct, but uh, ultimately show you some basic inline editing um, capabilities of you know updating category pages or product pages or homepage or whatever it might be. Um, so that's what we're going to see. So let's uh, let's move on to the demo. Okay, this is our shop application. It's still in its early stages. There are a few kinks to be worked out, um, some things with edit mode, etc., that uh, that aren't quite there yet. Um, but all this is, is coming. So what we're going to do is just demonstrate those those integrations we talked about with .CMS and Commerce tools, and start to show you some of the potential for. Um, dynamic data, purely dynamic and automated pages using .CMS as just a, a layout uh, provider, you know, some um, some metadata to maybe drive design, um, and then some mixtures of static content with um, dynamic commerce content uh, from, from commerce tools. Um, so we're going to start just on the home page with some of the more static stuff and show you the integrations into edit mode and into uh, commerce tools and .CMS. So let's look at our homepage. We have some basic stuff in here, static components like uh, a very large hero, you know, highlighting a new collection. Um, this could be something that in the future of this solution that could be targeted based on a context of where you're coming from as you start to learn uh, about new users. Um, we have just some basic stuff about, you know, the organization. And then we have, you know, this, this new in products. So this is where we have a mixture of a statically controlled piece of content mixed with the ability to read in data dynamically from commerce tools. So as an editor, I want to say, I've got a, another new product I want to add to this list. Um, so let's go in and let's create a product um, based off of uh, information in commerce tools using, using .CMS and start and, and add that product into this, this component. You can see how those integrations, how those integrations kind of come together. If we go into .CMS, we can see the list of products we've already got um, in place and we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new one um, using the integration with with commerce tools now one of the things I mentioned earlier is that the due to the headless nature of both of these platforms the integrations are um, brought together by relating IDs between entities okay so the, the unique identifiers of products into .CMS but then being able to pull that information in together dynamically um, to give us the, the, the best result this also ensures that the integrations are lightweight uh, and, and hyper performant. So let's have a look at how that, uh, how that looks. So I'm going to add a brand new product. Okay, and you can see there isn't a lot in this content type for a product, okay? But let's just do a, a full search. And you can see here that we have a search bar where we can search for any um, tag name or, or search criteria uh, within commerce tools. And its information, so whether attribute data or titles or whatever, this, this is going to get um, more enhanced with features. Um, but as for now, um, we're going to create a product based on um, let's take uh, let's take these casual sandals right here. Okay, so we're going to build this out. Uh, I'm going to use the title um, just from the shoes for now, and you can see here my product identifier is being highlighted. So this is going to be the key. Um, between the integrations of the, the web application and the providers from .CMS and Commerce Tools. So I'm going to save and publish this out. Okay. And we now have our casual sandals in our product list. So let's go over to the home page component in edit mode and add this as a new product. So this is our home page um, within uh, the inline editor of .CMS. Um, our application is actually a, a .NET Core uh, web app, um, and you can see how the uh, Edit Mode Anywhere feature within .CMS allows you to interact with their APIs and your applications to drive the Edit Mode features um, from your own channel apps, which is which is truly excellent. 
Um, so I'm going to switch this page into edit mode and we're going to go scroll down to our uh, new products and we're going to um, add to the product we created earlier. So here is our component. You can see that we can um, do all the, the same edit features as uh, any other standard implementation. And down here we can see our current related products. We're using the, the, relate, the relationship field type to, uh, to do this. And we're going to relate. We're going to add our casual sandals here. Relate, save and publish. And we will see our homepage update with the new content. There we go. And if I save and publish this page, we can also see the result of that on our homepage. So if I just refresh this, and there we go, there's our, our new product. Okay, so you can see there the, the ability to integrate through the Commerce Tools Headless API to build that integration within .CMS. Um, and then the slick nature of using the, the layouts and design features of .CMS's APIs and content APIs to drive your page both from static and uh, a dynamic way. So there's just one of the ways you can, uh, you can do this. But let's have a look at some of the more dynamic elements of the integration. So let's look at a product search. So let's say I'm a new customer to the site, but I know what I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to perform a search for a particular brand name uh, or product that I want to find. And this is going to drive me to the product search results page. So this is a fully dynamic component based purely off of the information supplied by Commerce Tools. But again, the layout, the design aspects of this are supplied by .CMS. Um, here you can see our search results. And if I want to view either one of these tools, uh, these, these products um, in, in, in the detail page, I can click through to these. And I can view my detail page. Now, albeit this is a very basic looking page, um, you can see the images, pricing, stock availability, the categories that it applies to, um, and you know, car information, etc., all supplied by um, commerce tools. But some of the again, the layouts, the labels for the car button, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, all supplied by by .cms. So those two, these two pages. Um, the search results page and the detail page uh, are both examples of very dynamic and fully dynamic capabilities. And what I'm going to do is show you how those two types of page work very differently to the more static elements within, within the site. So let's look at the search page to begin with um, and how this is, this is kind of put together. So if I switch this back to edit mode, uh, the core piece of this page is obviously the search results. So we have the header, which is statically controlled and editable through um, the standard means. It's a standard component within the, uh, the content repository. But we have, interestingly, the, the search results component itself. So rather than have lots of different pieces um, uh, all put together on a page and, and all separately um, defined, we have a component that responds to information from a query. Um, so Again, you've got those APIs working together within your apps to, to form the final result. So the query result within the application um, is driven by pulling information from commerce tools based on the search query, but the component being rendered on the page to even react to that search query is, is responsibility of .CMS. Now, if you look at this component in .CMS in edit mode, you will see there is zero content edit fields on here at all. That might seem a little bit strange, um, but all we're doing here is saying .CMS provide me a way to render this piece of functionality. We don't need content. I mean, things like labels um, for, for you know, like browse categories, product filters, those things go without saying they will come from .CMS because we need to translate those things. Um, but the actual content we've, we've got here, we always have the context I talked before about you know, a language and a country. So both APIs from both um, platforms support the ability to supply translate content. Um, but it's those lines of responsibilities again. So .CMS is providing the layout, the ability to render this component on the page, 
and Commerce Tools is responsible for providing the data based on the queries that are passed to it. Now, if we look at the second part of that journey, it was the click from the search results page into the detail page. So here is our detail page, we showed this before, um, but the key thing to note here is the identifier in the URL for this product. Now, if we look in uh, Commerce Tools and we find our product, we can see that the identifier for this product is the same. Okay, so we talked a little bit earlier about binding information on these IDs. Um, now, this looks like it routes to an actual page within .cms, like in, in the standard fashion. But if we go to .cms, we can see that we don't have a physical page for that product. What we do have is a default detail page that can respond through interception of the type of product we're looking for <clears throat> or the, the scenario we're in and can display a product detail regardless of having a page in app. So this means that editors can bring stuff to life very quickly simply by publishing content out of commerce tools and the application, the solution from .cms can simply provide a method to load that information dynamically um, without needing to do lots of editorial um, tasks. Now, in some cases, we may want to create a more featured product. So we want to have a nice hero, we want to have some related products or whatever it might be. And we want to, we want to be able to do that. We don't want the automation to take over. So we can, we can achieve this by creating actual content pages for each of our products. Okay, and let's have a look at one of these now. So here's a, here's a more featured product detail page. And if we look at it, we can see .cms static content in the header. We can see the um, product details coming through from commerce tools. We can also see related products within our, um, within our page for this particular product. And we can see related blog articles. So you can see the potential here for being able to um, load content like a blog posts, for example, um, based on, again, targeting or tags for this particular product. So, for example, we could say um, this product is tagged with running or whatever it might be. And again, have a global taxonomy managed within the CMS that you can then relate um, blog articles or videos or whatever it might be um, between the products and the content and start to surface that uh, and uh, and get you know um, people people driven, you know, getting content driven to them um, rather than having to go searching for it. Now, if we look at this detail page in .cms, things are a little bit different. In the editorial view of this page, uh, we can see more content being displayed to, uh, to really feature the product a little bit more, you know, and enhance the way it's displayed um, to the user, and potentially provide even more personalized information based on the experience. We can see the header I mentioned before, um, the dynamic content. And again, it's key to note that this is completely driven by commerce tools. If we look at this in editorial view, you can see again, we're, we're just having a, a plain component with a title um, and a placeholder for a, like a default component, maybe in editorial views. But ultimately this component is driven from the detail page identifier that's passed through in the URL. So again, the, the dynamic pieces there coming together. And then we have our related products. So albeit this could be done in a multitude of different ways, this one works more statically like it does on the home page. So if I wanted to say, um, I need to relate a new product to our list, I can go down to our related list, I can open up our list of products and I can relate uh, a, new, a new shoe to this. Let's uh, save and publish this content. And again, you'll see the detailed page physically refresh and update with the, with the latest content. Okay, so again, you can see that mixture of uh, having fast and efficient processes for editorial uh, teams to create just detailed pages that don't need a lot of information on them. It's just about showing what comes from commerce tools and then the ability to highlight products with more featured content from .cms and really combine that content commerce experience together. So the final thing I wanted to show you guys here in the demo was some more commerce tools driven interactions that influence the content and the dynamic nature uh, within the channel. So I'm going to do this by taking a look at the product categories page. 
uh, within the, the shop website. So here we have four just random categories, some, some just some default content and images. But ultimately we can see that .cms again providing the layout, commerce tools providing all the content that you see on the page. Um, now if we go and view the products of any one of these categories, we can see again the more dynamic capabilities of uh, the two systems working together. So here we have a completely dynamic populated list of products based on the category we selected. Identifiers um, being used to uh, being used to show uh, and link products together, uh, products and content together. Okay, um, but I want to show you editing this particular category with inside uh, commerce tools and then instantly being able to have that affected on the website. So we're looking at the Pro Runners categories. If we switch to uh, Commerce Tools here, we can see Pro Runners, and we can have a look at the products here, and we can see the ones we've currently got related. Okay, so let's add a new product to this list. Um, let's take uh, let's take any one of these guys. Which one don't we have already? Um, okay, so let's take uh, the Run Shoes. Okay, uh, let's edit this guy. Uh, let's add a category for pro runners. Let's save this. And then just with that CMS, we have a publish capability in commerce tools. We want to publish out our changes um, to our to our product. And we've related this product to our pro runners. Um, category. So let's go back to our application and we should see the result of that instantaneously. And here we go. A quick refresh of the page and we can now see our new product being shown in our in our website. So there's a few other features um, and integration capabilities uh, between the two systems uh, within any one web channel and the experience solution that we've got here in place pulling all that together is able to supply this experience not only to the web channel but maybe mobile or, or kiosks or there's a multitude of uh, possibilities for it um, but hopefully you've uh, you can see the potential there um, and, and can see how we we approach those uh, those capabilities and integrations and